Doctors put out a warning this week over what appears to be a batch of bad heroin that sent a record number of drug users to the hospital with overdoses. Nine patients were brought to the ER at Fletcher Allen, all within about 24 hours. That's typically what the hospital would see over the course of two or three months. It means there's something going on with the supply. So somehow it's more potent than usual. We're extremely concerned that if someone is unaware that the heroin they're using is stronger than what they're used to, they could die from this. It appears to be concentrated in the Burlington area. CVPH and other hospitals we checked with say they haven't seen an increase. Heroin overdoses and addiction are also a growing problem in New York. Lawmakers this week introduced a set of bills to help fight heroin with tougher penalties for dealers and more funding and better coverage for treating addicts. Senate Republicans held hearings across the state this past week on the dramatic increase of heroin in communities across New York. Twelve months ago, we had little, if any, heroin in our county. Today, we can buy heroin in any community at any time in Franklin County. Recovering addicts and experts told lawmakers that a crackdown on prescription drugs has pushed addicts to heroin, which is significantly cheaper and easier to get. It's as if we turned off the faucet in my particular county for prescription drugs due to some of the very good legislation that we passed as well as working with the drug companies and essentially turned on five faucets worth of heroin. Prosecutors say many addicts, some with up to $500 a day habits, are dealing or turning to crime to get money to buy heroin. Today, it's as if every user in my county has become a heroin dealer to support their habit. And many are teenagers. An agent with the Adirondack Drug Task Force told the lawmakers about a call from the parents of an 18-year-old and what they found in their home. They brought me 599 bags of heroin. This kid had just graduated from a local high school here in Plattsburgh. And often, it can lead to overdoses. He was a um, star athlete at our local high school. Um, there were some injuries that he received, started with the, um, uh, the pain medication, and then it just grew to a heroin addiction and, and overdosed and died. Sean McKean is a recovering addict who got hooked on heroin the same way. After taking painkillers for a pinched nerve, it is neck. When I would hear stories of, of heroin killing people or, or hurting them, you know, overdosing, that's the heroin that I would want, because I know it's good. Um, that's sickness, that's insanity. Um, and I would do anything to get it. When I'm actively using opiates or heroin, I'm a monster. I, am, I will steal, I will lie, I will snitch, I will cheat, um, I will break into my grant. Anything I can do, just because the physical and mental component to withdrawal is so horrible. Sean has been clean for almost a year since the death of his girlfriend who died of a heart attack after shooting heroin. Too many people, my friends included, are dying from addiction. For recovering addicts like Jack, treatment or inpatient rehab often aren't available or aren't covered by insurance. Imagine working for minimum wage in Clinton County, needing treatment and learning that your insurance company will not pay for treatment until you have paid $3,000 out of pocket for medical and or treatment services. Quite frankly, the amount might just as well be $100,000. We need probably more localized um, treatment programs um, and lengthier treatment programs um, in our communities. I think it would really help this area if we had an inpatient rehab facility. Um, I know that they've, they've done you know work with methadone and suboxone, and I think that, that has its place as well, but that's not the solution. That's putting a Band-Aid on a wound that, that needs stitches. Um, we need an inpatient program up here, or at least a detox unit. The bills the Senate says it'll take up before the end of the session would fund more treatment and require health insurance providers to cover rehab programs and anti-addiction medication. You put a face on the issue and you make it very, very clear to us that we need to do something and, and we need more services here in the North Country. Other bills would increase penalties for dealers, including those who sell heroin used in fatal overdoses and equip first responders and others with overdose reversal drugs like Narcan that can save an addict's life if they stop breathing. And beginning just this past month, DA Derek Champagne says Franklin County is investigating and now tracking overdose deaths more thoroughly. And he suggests the county statewide do the same to get a better idea of just how widespread the heroin epidemic has become.